Welcome to this video of EDI Connect. In this video, we are going to learn about how to build a message and send it out to a trading partner. So the first step is to use the EDI Builder. We have a visual designer where you build the EDI message. And second step is to take this message and validate it against partner standards and send it out. So let's go ahead and have a look at it in action. For building an EDI message, we have two constructs. The first one that builds the message and second one that writes it into a file. So those two options are available under the EDI group box in the toolbox. And the first option being the EDI message builder and second being EDI destination file. Let's go ahead and have a look at them one by one. So first, EDI builder. Let's go ahead and have a look at the properties of it. So the first thing it requires is the information about the trading partner. You point it to a trading partner profile. Let's go ahead and do that. And as soon as I do that, what it does is that it goes to all outbound maps defined for this trading partner and shows me all those options available under this messages drop down. Since I have just one message defined, 850, it shows up here and I pick it. And then I have some options about uh, building the message, such as if I want to show the error collection when I'm building, it shows you inside the tree itself. If I want to use the pretty print and if I want to use the envelope as well. If I include envelope, then this is entire message. Since I did that, you can see here, now my EDI builder, on the input side, it has a structure for an 850 message where I can do inbound mapping to build and fill this structure. Once I have this structure available and the data filled, I go to output and output now contains the structure which has not only the 850 structure, it contains errors as well. And if there are any problems with the map or any problems while you're doing preview or while you're running it, errors will get filled and you can use them for further processing. Once you have this 850 structure filled, the next step is to take the data and write it into the EDI destination file. Let's go ahead and do that. I drag and drop the EDI destination file and let's go to the properties of it. And there again, the very first thing is you specify the destination file path where the data is going to be written. Now the next thing is to specify the partner and let's go ahead and point it to a partner. And next thing is to specify if this file is going to contain multiple transition types and you have option to specify the test indicators as well, such as P and R and so on and so forth. Once I go back, I have my structure ready where it can take all the information and map into the destination. So now my EDI builder contains in the output not only the exact structure of 850, it contains the elements where they contain the text for the transaction and properties such as function group, control number, transaction set control number, and transaction set ID. What I'm going to do is I'm going to map these properties directly. Now you can see here I have information for all the values required in destination now, the mapping on the left-hand side, you can bring in data from anywhere, be it a relational database or a file or whatever source you choose. You can map the data into the EDI builder and that data goes into destination file. This file will contain your final EDI message. I have a sample that builds this EDI 850 message from the data stored in relational databases. So let's go ahead and have a look at that. In this sample, I'm collecting data from orders, order details, and products, and doing some transformation calculations, and eventually, I'm sending that data into this 850 purchase order, and the output is going into this destination file, and that eventually is going to produce my 850 EDI file. So this concludes this demo. Thanks for watching again.